Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's video which is going to be a bit different than normal. I'm actually going to be taking on board and replying to some of the criticism, some of the feedback and some of the mistakes that myself and Chart Champions have been making in recent times. Uh, this is a video really to take full accountability to let you know we are hearing what you are saying and changes do have to be made. I am holding myself purely responsible for everything that has gone on and um, yeah, I wanna know in this video, let you know what we have received, you know, some of the mistakes that myself and others have made within the business and you know, how we are going to, you know, look to improve upon this, okay? So I hope that you do enjoy today's video and it is gonna be about the mistakes we have made together at Chart Champions. I just wanna say even though some people are going to say it's not just myself and some of the team. I take full responsibility for everybody within Chart Champions, okay? So that's just the first thing I want to make you aware of. That's why I'm going to make this video and that's how we're going to proceed. So yeah, let's that, just go straight into it. It's going to be, this is a video, yeah, let's just go straight into it. <laughs> You're going to see it. Um, so the first bit of criticism, real strong criticism and feedback that we received from a lot of members was the communication problems with inside Discord, with inside, you know, the, the whole of the structure of the company. So obviously I myself moved country. I left England for good, not going back there. Uh, but one of the problems that came with this is, of course, when I was moving co country, okay, I also took that as an extended break for myself. I had actually gone uh, three years with no major vacation. And for me, this was a prime opportunity to enjoy myself for a few months. And I think if I had given everybody enough warning that there wouldn't have been a lot of the commotion that was caused, but because I'd done this on, you know, because I didn't warn everybody, the communication was not there. You know, a lot of people became frustrated and I, I truly, truly, truly understand that. And I hold my hands up and say, wow, I learned a lot from this. A simple thing of communication is also important. So yeah, the first major thing was, yeah, the, the, the communication issues within this company were, were just not there, okay? And also, another big thing about the communication was the customer service and moderated teams are were, were not consistent in their approaches to customers. E.g., some people, you know, there, there were a lot of bans given out, and people were, you know, thinking this is unfair banned. Hey, I'm following the rules. You know, there was a lot of miscommunication in that regards. Um, so you might be thinking, okay, so what are we doing to fix some of these major communication problems? And this is. To fix these issues, we have already produced a new stream schedule, so all members will know in advance who is hosting a live stream, so there's no confusion or surprises that, oh, he, he, you know, this guy's hosting this live stream this week, uh, you know, wh where's this guy, like, who's on holiday? We've actually produced the stream schedule and we're gonna be putting on the homepage of the website a whole calendar, so you can just go into our, our calendars and see exactly where we are um, in terms of, like, if there's a holiday upcoming, you know, who's, you know, who's hosting each stream. So that's going to be like the first major step towards communication because that was a major problem that we had. People didn't really know what was going on, didn't know what was coming up, didn't know what they were going to be learning next. And also we will work on front-end communication and ensure our service will always remain consistent, no longer disrupting our customers. We will also release a new set of rules so nobody gets this unfairly banned feeling. We did feel that our bans were justified always, um, but definitely we can improve on that. We acknowledge we can improve on that. We need to be more consistent with the warnings, okay? And just having a new understandable set of rules. So there's no, you know, no confusion regarding the rules of, of the company, basically in the, inside of the Discord I refer to. So yeah, this new set of rules is gonna be released this week. That will be, um, you, know, you know, we're really hoping that this is, you know, at least a first step towards Call, you know, solving some of these communication problems. Actually, in a few slides time, I have some more uh, fixes for this inside of the Discord itself. You'll see this towards the end of the presentation. I, I do think it's gonna be a big fix. The next major problem was the social media beef and banter that some people found really confusing. So a lot of people were confused that if we have like this beef with other YouTubers, why we would appear on their shows or, or even talk with these people. Um, you know, if, if we are at one point saying, hey, these people are, 
scammers, um, you know, avoid their content? Why, why are we communicating with them? And I would firstly like to say that all of my comments on social media are genuine, teasing and fun. But I do agree that sometimes I do get a little carried away. Uh, for example, Ben, uh, BitBoy, showed strength and reached out to us to let bygones be bygones. And I agree that there are more beneficial ways to help people than just trolling. Ben asked us to share our technical analysis with his audience and we agreed. Um, of course, this is referring to when I went onto his channel and talked about the harmonic pattern. Okay, a lot of people were, you know, there was a lot of accusations that we, uh, you know, we've paid Ben to go on his channel or that he's paying us or that, you know, this sort of back and forth. The answer is no, that was truly not the case. It all stemmed because somebody asked on his YouTube video that he should get Daniel from Chart Champions. And obviously it was at first never going to have him on my show. Then he'd done another video like six months later. Actually, yeah, it would be pretty cool. He does well in all of the training competitions. You know, after we had just won the Femex competition, people are, you know, people are recognizing, hey, this guy she knows what he's all about and from that um you know that, that that was how that really came around and at the end of the day our mission on youtube is to provide impartial analysis on trading bitcoin for everybody not the not just those who are only following us okay so i will use twitter for having fun and being myself so expect the banter and maybe a bit of trolling to continue there but for all professional social media presence i will focus on uh, the youtube and this is obviously referring to like the free content that we provide that's just going to be on youtube obviously for the member stuff that's that's all contained within the website but yeah i just yeah really quickly you know, summarize this, the social media, none of this is personal to anybody. You know, I don't hate anybody. Um, again, I don't agree with some people's business practices, you know, not, not going to name anything in particular, but I do not agree with some of the business practices. But at the end of the day, um, you know, if I can rather than, you know, trolling and attacking somebody in that regards, I can come on and maybe educate them in a way to maybe... <laughs> Maybe they are somewhat blinded or maybe even, you know, able to assist their followers by showing them the level of technical analysis that can be achieved. I think this is a more beneficial way to everybody, um, you know, helping in a, you know, in a positive way rather than the attacking way. I'm trying to be basically more professional. <laughs> um, so management, this was another key issue that was raised by many members in terms of their feedback. And that was that there was no real structure to chart champions and we lacked a real identity. The Discord lacked focus at times and could cause more confusion than help. You know, so many people are always we're saying, you know, this is confusing. I come into Discord. Some people are saying long, some people are saying short. You, you know, it's a confusing environment. And this was primarily caused by a massive demand boost where we grew from 100 members to over 5,000 paying members in a few months. I myself personally had always wanted to stick with the family feeling of the group, as this is all I knew and the reason the group was created in the first place. You know, if you've been here since the early days, you know, the, the, through the years that we have grown, you know, when we were just, you know, 10, 20 people at the start of the group, you know, the, the, the whole reason was it was created Chart Champions. It wasn't even originally called Chart Champions, but this is what it grew into. You know, it was it was because of a, a real genuine interest from people. Me just writing a few posts to then let people asking for a video, to then asking for me to use more of my time to educate them, to then becoming into a full educational platform. You know, it, it, it grew Reddit, you know, actually pretty quick. The, the, the speed of it growing was really quick. And that, the, in my opinion, is because people could genuinely see I knew what I was on about. I'm doing really good trades. And I'm also able to have this skill of finding good people to work alongside me. Yeah, now we've grew into this really, you know, pr pretty large trading company. And um, throughout this growth, though, we did lack things such as really good management, really good structure within the company, you know, and that real identity. So what are we doing to fix this? With the increased demand, we need to increase standards to be more professional and helpful to all. Our members now range from people such as students only just able to afford the monthly fee. You know, I see people saying that they're saving up for months and months and months just to join the group for one month. Um, you know, from one end of the spectrum to the other, where we have like really wealthy and actually famous athletes that you would recognize their names, wanting to get into training for when they leave the sports and everybody in between, you know, from the, from the, you know, the 
person that, you know, really wanting to change their life around. We help, you know, up to directors of companies that are, you know, ultra, ultra successful and using this to, you know, because they want to be managing their own money rather than putting it into funds, which, you know, it's amazing. Everybody, every end of the spectrum, every walk of life, the diversification within the group is something that I personally do love. Um, but it's just interesting to see how diversified really everybody is. But, you know, taking this into account, we have decided it's best to hire a new director of chart champions who can come into the company with expert prior experience to help transform chart champions into the world class educational group we can be. So this is where it comes down to identity myself, wanting to keep this as like this family type of, of, of vibe. And on the other end of the spectrum, we have people or, or, or an or almost a need now because of the growth and need to actually professionalize this, you know, have someone with real experience managing a company and saying, you know, we need to keep this professional. We need to keep this concise. This is the structure changes that we can make. This is what the customer demand is. This is what they want to see. And, you know, having, having, an expert that knows what they're doing in this. I will never say I'm an expert in running a company. You know, I, I created this from the demand of the people, never had the intention of, of or even the vision of, of having such a large uh, demand of people following my analysis. But that's what it's grew into. I recognize that. And I know really for the better of the majority of people, um, having a new director that has the experience of doing this, knows the needs of the customer, um, yeah, I truly feel you're going to see these changes, although maybe not directly with the management itself, you're going to see just the whole feel of chart champions coming to a new professional level, which is going to move us forward into the, you know, a real world class educational group at the moment, you know, it's, it's, lack structure there's a lot of confusion people don't know what's going on well we're gonna we've hired one of the best you know i've got a director that's came in really really good experience and and already knows what's going to going to be needed to be done and we're going to hit the ground running as you will see changes are being made you know as we speak you know the, the changes are going to be great and i still will keep that f sort of family feeling that close-knit group we're still doing like the meetups still you know just hanging out on discord having fun together but with now more of a professional focus from from a top level and i hope you make i hope that you understand that Okay, and then we move on to the Discord communication. So yeah, the majority of the feedback, to be honest, received was that Discord is very confusing. People cannot tell what is trolling to what is helpful. You know, there are too many setups posted that people don't know what to follow. Also within like the Discord communication, you know, we have a whole group of people and this is where it comes down to like professional versus family feel like, but, you know, when I was traveling Colombia, I would come in there and post um, people, photos people weren't too keen on. Other people were like, hey, this is hilarious. You know, pictures with like girls, pictures having fun, pictures having parties. And um, however many people kind of like that, there's obviously that, that group of people that didn't really appreciate that either. And uh, for me, I kind of, I, I was just always, you know, under the mind of, yeah, no, no, this is funny. Uh, but yeah, I, I take on board that a lot of people didn't like that and hen hence why, you know, I'm not going to be posting those type of things. And, um, you know, also the fact that Discord is confusing with like the setups, you know, sometimes I'll be posting in general chat, then Bitcoin TA, then Bitcoin charts only, um, you know, people cannot distinguish between, you know, what here is helpful, what here is not helpful, what's trolling, what's having fun, what's a joke, you know, just, just general you know, confusion within the Discord when it comes to trading, when it comes to my show, social life. You know, some of the things that people have accused me of, um, you know, I had people saying, hey, Daniel's a, a pedophile, like just crazy stuff. Um, I've never in my life been with a girl that's under 18. That is for me like disgusting and I, I would never do that. But because, you know, I'm, po I'm in a, I'm in a um, party city, there's, um, you know, like, what am I looking the word I'm looking for like a university city party city and you know there's been photos posted of me where I'm hanging out with people that are in uni 18 you know there's not that much of an age gap between me and an 18 year old but people still 
are going to try and attack me in that regards. And obviously, I don't, I don't appreciate that whatsoever. But hey, one of the fixes is just to say, hey, if you take a photo of me and it's online, uh, people are going to scrutinize and comment on everything. But um, yeah, bringing it back to the Discord communication, I'm going to keep it much more professional. Um, and what is one of the major fixes that we can do for the confusion? And that is to fix this, we are going to be releasing a coaches only, read only channel. And this is what people have wanted to be fair for a very, very, very long time. Okay, so each coach will have their own section within Discord that will be used for a professional communication and posts can be easily found and even have a notification enabled for when each of us post. We will then add a dedicated question and answer section for the members so they can interact with the coaches and myself and ask them questions about the charts they have posted in their read only section. So this is going to fix everything. Within here, we are only going to talk about trading. Everything in here is not going to be trolling. Everything is only going to be professional focused on trading. There is not going to be anybody else posting in our section. Each coach will have their own section. If you want to follow my ideas, you can follow that. If you want to follow Eagle's ideas, you can follow that. If you want to follow Mike's ideas, you can follow that, etc. Each coach has their own section where there is just a read-only channel. You can, have a, you can have a notification enabled so when I post a setup or something that I'm feeling about Bitcoin or crypto or stocks or commodities, you can be alerted instantly. You get that instant notification, I've just posted a trading update. And then guess what? On top of that, you see that trading update and then you see that chart and you think, you know, I would just like to maybe verify or ask a question about this bit of analysis. You can come into the questions channel and ask that question. Daniel, I've just seen this post within your private type of read-only section. Can you just explain this in a little bit more detail? Ask that question and then I myself will be able to answer you. Or if you have that question for Eagle, Eagle will be able to answer you. I feel this is one of the most requested things and biggest changes that we have done in recent times because this is just going to fix so many issues that we had around that communications, around that trolling, around that type of, is this real, is this not? Like, this is going to fix everything, because in here, you know, th this is it. This, this is our professional type of communication that is focused. It is just going to be about trading. You cannot be confused. Or if you do have confusion around a post, you can ask that question and get an answer. So I feel that this is like a really massive you know, a really massive improvement in my regard, in my, in my opinion. And again, that all came around from the feedback received. So we really are taking on board that feedback and, you know, acting and changing positively from what has been given to us. So as with everything in life, experience is making mistakes and learning from them. I will openly admit, hey, yeah, I've made mistakes in terms of you know, poorly managing the company, um, you know, uh, trolling sometimes, then being professional, like lacking identity, lacking structure, lacking communication, you know, everything in life, everybody makes mistakes. And I think it takes a real, let's just say a real champion to acknowledge those mistakes say, and hold up your hand. Like I'm holding up my hand saying, hey, I made mistakes. I'm a human at the end of the day, like everybody else. Um, but what I will do is learn from these mistakes. I will take on board your criticism. I will take on board what you are saying. I will listen to you. And if I feel that it's justified, I'm, I'm going to act upon this for improvement. And I definitely, 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 definitely understand I made mistakes. Um, you know, pr pr I think the biggest mistake for me was, was the communication of not telling people I was going away. Don't worry, this is not going to happen again. I, I truly learned from that. Big style. Okay, so the success of Chart Champions and its growth was quick, and this yet led to unique challenges not faced before. With this, we have made mistakes, taken criticism, and accepted that feedback. By accepting our mistakes and learning from the feedback, we will not only improve ourselves as people, but also to you as a service. Okay, and this was like a big thing, like the identity of a company. Do we, you know, now approach this as like a business mindset? We're providing you a service. And the, and the answer at the end of the day, when you think about it is yes. You know, we have over 30 employees. You know, we like to think, you know, it's just like at the end of the day, this, this is actually a business. However many people are, you know, don't really like the idea of, hey, this is a trading business. You know, people don't like that. And, and it's what it is, what it is. But at the end of the day, Chart Champions is a really successful, large 
um, business that provides a service to thousands of people around the world. So by acknowledging this and accepting this, we can have a clear focus, we can have a clear product, we can have a clear service, and we know exactly what we're pushing and striving towards. And at the end of the day, that is an educational service that really can still answer the main mission. Like why was Chart Champions created in the first place when it was just a few people? It was it was not created in that regards, but it was in its process of formation because I just truly wanted to give back my knowledge and help people not get wrecked in trading. And now you skip forwards years into the future. My mission is still the same. It's still, I want to give back. I talk about trading. I want to give you my insights. I don't want to see you getting wrecked. You know, I want to actually see people, you know, I've done now so many meetups and to have those people, obviously it's, it's nice when they write it to me on a comment, but to have people in real life, like coming up to me, shaking my hand saying, I want to buy you a beer. You have literally changed my life. F for me, it's the same from day one to today. Like that for me is everything. That's a feeling money cannot buy. Yeah. I mean, all of you know it by now, chart champions, trading in general could, could die tomorrow. There was no more trading in the world. You know, I have other businesses. I have so many properties. Like money for me is, is not a problem. You know, I have no reason to have a problem, have so much properties, have so much land. Like at the end of the day, this is always the thing Like people, why, why are you charging for a trading group if you have so much money? And at the end of the day, you, I have to acknowledge then Chart Champions is a business. This is a service. We have a lot of employees. The employees are paid well and we are giving you something back in return. So by accepting that, acknowledging this, I think, you know, we can improve that service. And that's what we, we strive to do. And with a big change from today... Um, in other news, Igor is rolling out a new additional live stream every Tuesday. So starting next week, Igor will go live before the stock market open, reviewing the weekly open and the week ahead for all things stock and Forex related. Also, I'm sure a bit of crypto there on the side. This is the perfect way to cover the market on both ends with Igor at the open on Tuesday, Victor obviously covering the weekly close on a Friday. And there are more additions coming this week. So keep an eye out from the founder himself. Until then, see you on board the Steam Engine. So that means now we have 15 live streams a week, okay? That is two from myself being the contender and champions. One from Eeyore, one from Victor, one from Mike, and 10 from George. That is an hour-long daily trading live stream and a condensed five-minute version for those low on time. That's 15 live streams a week for the members on the website. Trading Assistant is also very active every single day in the community to answer all of your questions. So you not only have 15 live streams a week, you also have the Trading Assistant specifically in that contender section to answer every single question that he receives. Like the guys are working, well, it's obviously not just one guy anymore, but you know, the whole team of Trading Assistants, they're just absolute beasts. Every step of the way, all day, to answer every single question you have. This is a you know, a, a service that we are very proud of because that, that requires a lot of dedication and a lot of hard work on their end, to be fair. So now we are gaining more structure and all coach. So, you know, with that structure, with that more professional vibe, the coaches are going to actually be more active in the community to help you out. For example, myself, I'm no longer having to manage left, right and center. The other coaches are not having to, you know, work things out. We have somebody came in to say, hey, basically directing the company, focus on this, do this, do that we're not left with the confusion even on the back end that you don't see. So that frees up us more time to basically do what we want to do, and that's trading at the end of the day. <laughs> so you can expect us to be more active as well. So I think the changes here are really positive, and I just want to say, yeah, thank you. And I hope you all look forward to the next step forward with Chart Champions, a more professional and focused approach to making you into a world-class profitable trader. Period. So... That's what I wanted to go through today. At the end of the day, this is our focus. This is our goal, to make you into a world-class trader. So you can come up to us in the next meetup and, and say, hey, you've changed our life. That for me is what I want. That for me is what we are going to achieve. And each step of the way, you know, we're going to always continue improving. I'm never going to say we're the best at anything in terms of, you know, this in trading. I'm going to say I'm the best trader in the world. That's not going to change. I have that confidence. But in terms of, in terms of you know, the the... Outlook and the service, of course, we can always get better in that regards. Always, 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 always. And even in trading, let's be honest, I can always get better in that as well. So, you know, at the end of the day, I want to say thank you. Thank you for the criticism received, the constructive criticism. Thank you for the feedback. Sorry for, and I can, I guess I also have to say sorry for that lack of communication, for that, you know, everything that I've kind of covered today and more, like, 
I, I, I hold my hands up. I say I'm sorry. I take resp full responsibility for everybody within the company, any mistakes. Um, I, I blame it all on myself. And with that, I hope that you can see the changes that I have done. You know, bringing in a director, this is a really, really, really massive thing. Um, you know, this is a really, really, really great... <laughs> you know a guy with lots of experience not cheap and also with the discord communication i think this is going to be like amazing amazing change that you're going to love the read only channel people have wanted it for a long time and that is coming this week by the way literally in two days that's going to be released ready for the world series of trading uh the new trading competition so that will be ready for that i think you're going to absolutely love it and uh yeah at the end of the day i hope you know, I'm sure there's some people are also like, wow, I didn't even know any of these problems. Uh, because again, it, it, at the end of the day, there's still people that absolutely love and didn't even notice there was anything. So from, there's going to be some people a little bit confused. Hey, I didn't even realize any of this stuff was going on. A, for you, if that's your, your end or whether you were one of these people really frustrated with the service. Well, I hope that you can understand. We've took on board what you're feeling. We understand what you're feeling. And with that understanding, with that compassion and with that compassion and with that passion to want to improve you know we are making changes we are taking things on board and, and the changes you've already seen already with things such as the stream schedule and everything that we're coming out over the next few months i know you're going to love it that, that's all i can say i know you're going to love it and uh yeah thank you ever so much everybody and i will catch you over in the discord or over on the charts with myself so cheers everybody thank you and uh yeah cc pool send their regards thank you i love you and goodbye cheers